Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a good day, and here's why, because today all you have to do is just, just be yourself. But also confident that that's important, like easy to talk to, uh, interesting, uh, but that, that's, that's the number one word, that's the big, just, uh, just be, be true to yourself. Also, don't even worry if your hands are going to get sweaty for no reason. I'm not even sure why, why you're thinking about it, because it's not going to happen. It's just uh, all you have to do is just be yourself. But seriously, so uh, don't even worry about it, because it's, it's not going to be like that one time uh, when you had the, the, the perfect chance to introduce yourself to, to Zoe Murphy uh, at the jazz band concert, and, and you, you were going to introduce yourself, and you're going to be like super casual about it, too. Like, you didn't even know her name. Just like, Chloe, you say your name is Chloe, and she'd be like, no, I said Zoe. You'd be like, oh, sorry, I thought your name was Chloe, because I'm just, I'm very important with other stuff right now. But but you didn't you didn't even end up talking to her, because you, you thought that your hands were sweaty, which they weren't. But that, that, that that's what made them sweaty. So you, so you went to the hand dryer to dry them off, but they're still sweaty. They're just very warm now as well. So, you decided not to eat dinner last night, huh? I wasn't hungry. You're a senior in high school, Evan. You need to be able to order dinner while I'm at work. You can do it all online now. You don't even have to talk with anybody on the phone. I know you don't like the phone. Okay, you see, that's work. not true, actually. Uh, you have to talk to the delivery man when he comes to the door. And he has to count change, then you have to stand there silently while they're counting the change. Okay, so, so this is what you're supposed to be working on, Evan. With Dr. Sherman? Talking with people, engaging with people, not running away from people. No, you're right. I'm going to be a lot better. No, I know. I, I know you are. And that's why I made you an appointment later today with Dr. Sherman. I'll, I'll pick you up after school. No, I, I, I thought I had an appointment next week. And I thought you could do something a little sooner. Hey, have you been writing those letters to yourself? The pep talks? Dear Evan Hansen, this is going to be a good day and here's why. Have you been doing those? Yeah, no, I started writing them. Well, I'll finish it at school. Oh, those letters are important, honey. They're going to help you build your confidence. Seize the day. I guess. Oh, Devin, I don't want another year of you sitting at home every Friday night on your computer telling me you have no friends. Neither do I. Can we try to have an optimistic outlook? Can we fuck up just enough to see the world won't fall apart? Maybe this year we decide we're not giving up before we've tried. This year we make a new start. Hey, I know. You can go around today and have all the other kids sign your cast. How about that? It would be the perfect icebreaker. Yeah, perfect. Hey, I'm proud of you already. Oh, good. Another stellar conversation for the scrapbook. Another stumble as I'm reaching for the right thing to say. Well, I'm kinda coming up empty, can't find my way to you. Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how in the world to do this? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. So where's the map? I need a clue. The scary truth is I'm flying. I'm not making this up as I go. It's your senior year, Connor. You are not missing the first day. I already said I'd go tomorrow. I'm trying to find a compromise. Are you gonna get involved? Or are you too busy on your email, Larry? Connor, you gotta go to school. That's all you're going to say? What do you want me to say? He doesn't listen. Look at him. He's not listening. He's probably high. He's definitely high. Shut up. You shut up. I don't need you picking on your brother right now. That is not constructive. Are you kidding? Besides, he's not high. I don't want you going to school high, Connor. We've talked about this. Great, then I will go. Thanks, Mom. Another masterful attempt ends with disaster. Interstate's already jammed. Pour another cup of coffee and watch it all crash and burn. Connor finished the milk. It's a puzzle, it's a maze. I try to steer through it a million ways, but each day's another wrong turn. Well, I better head out. If Connor's not ready, I'm leaving without him. Does anybody have anybody a map? Have anybody a map maybe happen to know how in the world to do this? I don't know if you can tell, but this is me just pretending to know. So where's the map? I need a clue. Cause the scary truth is I'm flying blind. 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 And I'm making this up as I go.
How was your summer? I'm sorry, my... Uh... Mine was productive. I did three internships and 90 hours of community service. I know. Wow. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that, that's really... But even with all that, I still managed to make some good friends. Or, well, acquaintances, I guess you'd say. Uh, do you want maybe... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you have... Uh... Do you, do you want to maybe assign my cat? Oh my gosh, what happened to your arm? Well, uh, it's actually this funny story, really, because uh, I was climbing up this tree and I fell. Oh, really? My grandma broke her hip getting into the bathtub in July. That was the beginning of the end, the doctor said, because then she died. Well, have a great first day! Is it weird to be the first person in history to break your arm from playing with the boys too much? Or do you consider that an honor? What? No, that's not what happened, obviously. Shh. Picture this. You're in your room, you got Zoe Murphy's Instagram pulled up on your weird old phone. No, 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 that's not what happened, okay? Uh, I was climbing up this tree and I fell. <laughs> and you fell. What are you, like, an acorn? Well, actually, I'm, I'm not sure if you knew this, but I was a, uh, an apprentice park ranger at Elson State Park. I'm sort of a, a, a tree expert now, not to brag or anything. Uh, <clears throat> Anyways, I climbed this uh, this 40-foot oak tree and, uh... And you fell. Well, it's a funny story, actually, because there was a solid 10 minutes where I just sat there uh, waiting for somebody to come. I, I, I get thinking to myself, any second now, uh, some, someone will come any second. Did they? Uh, no, no one came. That's the, uh, that, that's what, that's what's funny. <laughs> wow. Uh, how was your... Sorry, uh, did you, uh... Do you have a good summer? Oh, well, my bunk dominated and captured the flag this year, and I hooked up with a super hot chick, so yeah, I guess you could say that it was pretty awesome. Uh, do you wanna, um, do you wanna sign my cast? <laughs> You're asking me? Well, cause I just thought we're, uh, we're, we're, we're friends. <laughs> we're family friends, that's a whole different thing and you know it. By the way, don't forget to tell your mom to tell my mom that I was nice to you, or else my parents won't pay for my car insurance. Connor, digging the new hair length. Very school shooter chic. <laughs> it, it was a joke. I was j joking. Oh no, I'm laughing. Can't you tell? Am I not laughing hard enough for you? Wow, you're such a freak. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What? Stop laughing at no, me. No, I wasn't. I'm not the freak. What? No, I wasn't. You're the freak! to slam on the brake Before I even turn the key Before I make the mistake Before I lead with the worst of me Give them no reason to stare No slipping up if you slip away So I got nothing to share No, I got nothing to say Step out, step out of the sun if you keep getting burned Step out, step out of the sun because you've learned Because you've learned On the outside, always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass I'm waving through a window I try to speak but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear Well I'm watch, watch, watching people pass I'm waving through a window Can anybody see? Is anybody waving back at me? Brother, I saw him push you. He's a psychopath. Evan, right? Evan. That's your name? Yes, it is. It's Evan. Sorry. Why are you sorry? Well, because you said Evan and I repeated it. It's so annoying when people do that. I'm sorry. I'm Zoe. No, yes, I know. You know? No, no, it's just I've seen you play guitar for jazz band. I love jazz band. I love jazz. Well, not all jazz. It's jazz band, jazz. That's so weird. I'm sorry. You apologize a lot. I'm sorry. You know what I mean. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. You don't want to sell my cast, do you? What? What? What was that? What'd you say? I didn't say anything. You did. No, I... I no way. Jose? Okay. Jose. Right, because I said... We start with stars in our eyes. We start believing that we belong. But every sun doesn't rise. And no one tells you where you went wrong Step out, step out of the sun if you keep getting burned 
Step out, step out of the sun Because you've learned, because you've learned On the outside, always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass Waving through a window I try to speak, but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear While I'm watch, watch, watching people pass Waving through a window Can anybody see? Is anybody waving? When you're falling in a forest And there's nobody around Do you ever really crash? Or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest And there's nobody around Do you ever really crash? Or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around Do you ever really crash or even make a sound? Did I even make a sound? Did I even make a sound? It's like I never made a sound Will I ever make a sound? On the outside, always looking in Will I ever be more than I've always been? Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass Waving through a window I try to speak but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear While I'm watch, watch, watching people pass Waving through a window can anybody see? Is anybody waving back at me? Is anybody waving? Waving! Waving! Whoa! Whoa! but I'm stuck at work. Erica called in with a flu and I was the only other nurse around to help, so I volunteered to pick up her shift. It's fine. It's just they announced more budget cuts this morning, so anything I can do to show that, you know, I'm a team player. No, really, it's fine, Mom. I'll, t I'll take the bus. I'm so sorry, honey. Oh, and I'm going straight from here to class again, so I won't be home until late. Please eat something, Evan. Mm-hmm. We've got those Trader Joe's dumpling in the freezer. Maybe. Did you write that letter yet? Dr. Sherman's expecting you to have one. Dear Evan Hansen, today's gonna be a good day and here's why. Yeah, no, I already finished. I'm in the computer lab uh, printing it right now. Okay, uh, hey, I hope it was a good day. It was. Yeah, it was great. Great, that's really great. I hope it's the beginning of a great year. I think we could both use one of those, huh? Oh crap, I have to run. Bye, I love you. Bye. Dear Evan Hansen, turns out today wasn't an amazing day after all. This isn't going to be an amazing week or an amazing year because, um, because why would it be? Oh, I know, because there's Zoe and all my hope is, is pinned on Zoe, who I don't know, who, who doesn't know me. But, I mean, maybe if I, maybe if I just talk to her, then maybe... Maybe nothing would be different at all. I wish everything was different. I I wish anything I, I, I said mattered. I wish I was a, a part of something. I, I mean, face it, would anybody notice if I just disappeared tomorrow? Sincerely, your best. And most dearest friend, me. When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really crash or even make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really crash or even make a... So, what happened to your arm? Oh, um, I, uh, I, I fell out of a tree. <laughs> you fell out of a tree? 
That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Yeah. So, no one signed your cast? No. I'll sign it. Uh, no, you, you don't. You don't have to. Do you have a sharpie? I. Thanks. Now we can both pretend we have friends. Oh. Found this at the printer. Dear Evan Hansen. That's your name, right? Yeah, it was just uh, this paper. Uh, it was an assignment, really. I. Because there's Zoe? Is this about my sister? No, 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 no. You wrote this because you knew I would find it. What? You wrote this, printed it out, and knew that I would find it. Why, why would I do that? So I could read some creepy things you wrote about my sister. No, that's... Then freak out, right? What? No, that's... So you can tell everybody I'm crazy, right? No, why... Screw why? you! Wait, no, no, just, just... Can you give... Can you give that back? Please, please! Have you to yourself? What the crap does that even mean? Is it, like, a sex thing? What? No, it's not like a sex thing. It, it was an assignment. And why were you talking to me about this? Well, I didn't know who else to talk to. You're my only... Family friend. <laughs> wow. I don't know what to do. Connor, he, he took the letter from me three days ago, and then he just he hasn't come to school since. That does not bode well for you. What do you think he's going to do with it? Who knows? Connor Murphy is out of his mind. Do you remember when he threw a printer at Mrs. G in the second grade? Because he didn't get to be lying later that day? D do you think he's going to show it to, um, to other people? He's going to ruin your life with it. For sure. I mean, I would. <laughs> Um, is, is Mr. Howard? I'm, I'm sorry, they just sent the loudspeaker for me to come to the principal's office. I'm, I'm sorry. This is Mr. Howard, he... He stepped out. We wanted to meet with you in private, so... If you don't mind, maybe... We're Connor's parents. Oh. Honey, maybe you should go ahead. I'm going as fast as I can. That's not what I said, is it? Connor, he he wanted you to have this. Connor never mentioned your name. He never talked about you. And then we see this note. Dear Evan Hansen. Connor, um, he, he gave this to you? We didn't even know that the two of you were friends. Friends? We didn't know Connor had any friends. And then we read this note and... It's pretty obvious that you two were... Well, at least that Connor thought of you as... It's all right there. Dear Evan Hansen, he addressed it to you. He wrote it about you. Um, you think Connor wrote this to me? These were the words he wanted you to hear. His last words. It's what he wanted to leave you with. I'm sorry, uh, what, do you, what do you mean, last words? Connor, he took his own life. He what? This is all we found on him. It was folded up in a pocket. He was, you could see he was trying to explain everything. I wish that everything was different. I wish that I had a part of something I wish that anything I said mattered to Larry, anyone. Please stop. Okay, but that's not, um, that, that this isn't, I'm, I'm, Connor, uh, he, Connor didn't write this. What does that mean? I'm sorry, he didn't, Con Connor didn't write this. What does he mean? He's obviously in shock. No, it's just, it's he, he right didn't, there. No, I'm sorry, I, I should probably go, just, I, I really need to. Wait, if Connor didn't, if, if he didn't write no, this, then. Cynthia, uh, now is not But did he really, say really, anything really, to no, you? I, I have to go. Did Listen you see anything? Me, no. This no, is all we have. This is the only thing we have left! You, you should you should just take it, please. Larry. His cast. His best and most dearest friend.
Holy crap. I didn't say anything. I just, I, I couldn't say anything. They, they invite me over to dinner. They want to know more stuff about Connor and me, about our, our, our friendship. Still can't believe the terrible news about at Connor Murphy. Well, what are you going to tell them? I mean, the truth? I wouldn't say we were friends, exactly. More like acquaintances. The truth. Really. You're going to go to the Murphy's house and explain that the only thing they have left of their son is some weird sex letter that they, you wrote to yourself? We were in chemistry together, I'm pretty sure. You could go to jail for this, you know, if you get caught. What? No, I, I didn't do anything! He was also in my English class in 10th grade. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, Evan, but you may have already perjured yourself. Isn't that when you're under oath, like, like in a courtroom? Well, weren't you under oath, in a way? Uh, no. Yeah, he was definitely in my English class. Look, do you want to listen to me, or do you want to have another meltdown, like in last year's English class, when you were supposed to give a speech about Daisy Buchanan, but instead you just stood there staring at your note cards saying, um, 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 over and over again like you were having a brain aneurysm? Well, what do you want me to do? Just, just keep lying? I didn't say lie. All you have to do is nod and confirm. Whatever they say about Connor, you just nod your head and say, Yeah, that's true. Don't contradict, and don't make stuff up. It's foolproof. Literally, nothing I tell my parents is true, and they have no idea. Three days ago, Connor Murphy was here, and now... Now he's gone. They were so sad, his parents. His mom was just... I I've never seen anyone so... so sad before. Well... A good thing you're about to tell the truth about that sex letter. I'm sure that'll cheer her right up. If Connor meant something to you, please retweet. Or you could DM me if you just want to talk. At times like this, we could all use a friend. Does anybody want some chicken? I think you're the only one with an appetite, Larry. Well, the Harrises brought it over. Did Connor tell you about the Harrises? We used to go skiing together. Uh, Connor loves skiing. Connor hated skiing. Well, no, yeah, sorry. Uh, Connor loved talking about how much he hated skiing. So you two, you hung out a lot? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Where? Uh, like, where? Well, um, we mostly hung out at my place, sometimes here. If no one else was here, obviously. Um, we would email a lot, though, um, so we wouldn't have to meet in person. No, we went through all his emails, and there weren't any from you. Right, no, because um, he had a, a different account, a secret account. Uh, that was probably really confusing, I'm sorry. Why was it secret? Just so it, it would be uh, more private that way, I guess. He knew we read his emails. Well, somebody had to be the bad guy. You know, the weird thing is, the only time I saw you and my brother together was when he shoved you at school last week. He shoved you? No, I, I, I tripped. No, I was there. I saw the whole thing. He pushed you hard. Right, no, um, I remember it was a misunderstanding. He, uh, he didn't want to talk at school, but um, I, I tried to talk to him at school. It, it, it wasn't a big deal. It was my fault. Why didn't he want to talk to you at school? Uh, I, I, guess, uh, I guess he was embarrassed. Why was he embarrassed? Well, uh, just, he probably thought that I was... Uh, a nerd? Zoe! Isn't that what you meant? Well, a loser, I was going to say, but nerd works too. Well, that wasn't very nice of him. Well, Connor wasn't a very nice person, so that makes sense. Connor was a complicated person. No, Connor was a bad person. There's a difference. Zoe, please. Don't pretend like you don't agree with you me. You refuse to see anything positive. You because refuse to see any of the no good, things. good things. Tell me the good things, Mom. I don't have a conversation in front of our guests. What were the good things, Mom? Tell me. There were good things. I remember a lot of good things about Connor. Like what? Never mind, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. No, Evan, go on. No, please, no, please, really. I want to hear I... what you have to say. Well, um, just... Connor and I, um, had a, a really great time, uh, one day recently. Um, that is something good I remember about Connor. That, um, that day at, um... That day at the, the apples, the apples place. Uh, anyways, I knew it was stupid. I he took you to the orchard? Uh, yes, yeah, yes, he did. When? Uh, once, just once, but um, he said that the, uh, the apples there were the best. I thought that place closed down a long time ago. No, it did, which is why we were just so bummed when we got there, so.
We used to go to the orchard all the time. We used to do picnics there. Remember, Zoe? Yeah, I do. And you and Connor had that toy plane you would fly until you flew it into the creek. Well, it was an emergency landing. I can't believe he took you there. I bet, I bet you two, I bet you had fun. We did, we did. Yeah. The whole day was just... End of May or early June, this picture perfect afternoon we share. What was the name of that ice cream place out there? Alamode. Alamode, that's it. And they had that homemade hot fudge. Uh, drive the winding country road, grab a scoop at Alamode, and then we're there. We used to sit in the sycamores, and you and Connor would look for four leaf clovers. An open field that's framed with trees, we pick a spot and Shoot the breeze like buddies do Quoting songs by our favorite bands Telling jokes no one understands except us two And we talk and take in the view All we see is sky for forever We let the world pass by for forever Feels like we could go on for forever this way. Two friends on a perfect day. I totally forgot about that place. That Connor didn't. Did he? We walk a while and talk about the things we'll do when we get out of school. <laughs> Like the Appalachian Trail, or write a book, or learn to sail, wouldn't that be cool? There's nothing that we can't discuss, like girls we wish would notice us, but never do. Uh, he looks around and says to me, there's nowhere else I'd rather be, and I say, me too. And we talk, and take in the view. We just talk. And take in the view. All we see is sky for forever. We let the world pass by for forever. Feels like we could go on for forever. This way, this way. All we see is light for forever. Cause the sun shines bright for forever Life will be alright for forever This way Two friends on a perfect day And there he goes racing toward the tallest tree From far across the yellow field I hear him calling, follow me there we go, wondering how the world might look from up so high, one foot after the other, one branch then through another. I climb higher and higher, I climb till the entire sun shines on my face. And I suddenly feel the branch give way. I'm on the ground, my arm goes numb, I look around, and then I see him come to get me, he's come to get me, and everything's okay, all we see is sky for forever. This way, this way, all we see is light, cause the sun burns bright, we could be alright for forever, this way.
whose parents think you were lovers. You realize that, right? Why would they think that? You were best friends, but he wouldn't let you talk to him at school. And when you did, he shoved you. That's like the exact formula for secret gay high school lovers. Oh no. This is why I told you. What did I tell you? You just need to nod and confirm. Well, I, I tried to. I just, you don't understand. I, I got so nervous and I started talking. Once I started, I just... You couldn't stop. Well, they didn't... They didn't want me to stop. What else did you completely mess up? What, nothing. Seriously. Okay. Well, I mean... I, I told them we wrote emails. Emails? Yeah, I told them Connor and I, we had this uh, secret email accounts. Oh, right. One of those secret email accounts. Sure, for sending pictures of your penises to each other. <laughs> And so I said, we, we, he had the secret email account, we would send emails to each other. I mean, honestly, could you be any worse at this? They're gonna want to see our emails! You think? What am I gonna do? I can do emails. How? It's easy. You make up an account, backdate the emails. I mean, there's a reason I was the only CIT with keycard access to the computer cluster last summer. I have skills, son. You would do that? For two grand. Two thousand dollars? Five hundred. I, I can give you twenty. Fine, but you're a jerk. Hey, you. I've got some very exciting news for you. Look what I found online today. College scholarship essay contest. Have you heard of these? I think so. So, yeah, NPR like did this whole thing this morning on them. There are millions to choose from and tons of topics. I spent my whole lunch break going over this. Look, John F. Kennedy profile encouraged scholarship. $3,000 college of your choice. Henry David Thoreau Society, $5,000. Wow. Oh, college is going to be so great for you, Evan. I mean, how often do you get to just start your life all over again? No, I know. Yeah, I mean, you got so many things to look forward to. High school, well, listen, the only people that really like high school are cheerleaders and football players, and they end up miserable anyways. Hey. You're really going to find yourself in college, Evan. I know it. I just wish I could be there with you. Yeah, I know. I just thought that this could be kind of neat to do. No, no, it is for sure. I mean, you're such a wonderful writer. and I mean, we could use the, all the help we can get in college. Unless your stepmother has a trust fund I don't know about from all those... Fabulous tip she made as a cocktail waitress. Hey, um, I got this email from your school today about a boy who, um, killed himself. Con Connor Murphy. I didn't, uh, I, I had no idea. Oh, well, um, I didn't really know him, so... Well, um, if you ever need to, if you ever want to talk about anything, I mean, I, mean, I know I'm not around a lot. i working and going to class. No, and, I, I know. I wish I'm here. And even if I'm not here, here, I mean, I'm just a phone call away or a text or, or, or an email. Thanks. It says Connor on your cast, Evan. Oh. I mean, you said you no, didn't No, no, know no. Him. Th this is a, um, he's, it's a, uh, a, a different, different Connor. Oh. <laughs> okay. I was so worried. No, yeah, I'm sure. Oh. Um. Hey. Um. You know what? I, I'm going to get somebody to cover my shift next week. When's the last time we had a Taco Tuesday? Oh, no, no, you, you, don't, you don't have no, to. No, no, you've been back to school for, what, a week now? And I, I've hardly ever seen you. I, we could even go over some of these scholarship ideas. How about it? That would be great. That's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited now. Something to look forward to. Huh? So, um... Are you okay on refills? Yes. Well, don't stay up too late. It's a, it's a school night. I won't. 
Love you. Love you too. Dear Evan Hansen, we've been way too out of touch. Things have been crazy, and it sucks that we don't talk that much. But I should tell you that I think of you each night. You're really sexy, and you fill me with delight. Why would you write that? <laughs> I'm just trying to tell the truth. You know, if you're not going to take this seriously... Okay, you need to calm yourself. These emails have to be perfect. They have to prove that we are actually friends. Just They need to be completely realistic. Oh, there's nothing unrealistic about the love one man feels towards another. Can we just go back to In it? fact, some might even say there's something quite right, beautiful. Let's just go back, Jared. I gotta tell you, life without you has been hard. Hard? Has been bad. bad? Has been rough. Kinky. And I miss talking about life and other stuff. Very specific. Shut up. I like my parents. Who says that? I love my parents, but each day is another fight. If I stop smoking drugs, then everything might be alright. Smoking drugs. Just fix it. This is completely unrealistic. It doesn't even sound like Connor. Okay, well, I wanted to show that I was like a, a good friend, like I was trying to help him. Oh my gosh. If I stop smoking crack Crack? If I stop smoking pot Then everything might be alright I'll take your advice Try to be more nice I'll turn around Just wait and see Cause all that it takes is a little reinvention It's easy to change if you give it your attention all you gotta do is just believe you can be who you wanna be Sincerely me Are we done yet? Well, I can't just give them one email. I want to show that I was a, a good friend, you know? Okay, will you please stop hyperventilating? Well, no, I'm not hyperventilating. Well, you're having considerable I'm trouble. Having having trouble. Do you need I'm a paper bag? I'm not hyperventilating! Dear Connor Murphy, yes, I also miss our talks. Stop doing drugs, just try to take deep breaths and go on walks. No. I'm sending pictures of the most amazing trees. No. You'll be obsessed with all my forest expertise. Absolutely not. Do I proud of you? Just keep pushing. You're turning around, I can see. Just wait and see. Cause all that it takes is little free invention. It's easy to change if you give it your attention All you gotta do is just believe you can be who you wanna be Sincerely me My sister's hot What the heck? My bad Be Revan Hansen, thanks for every note you send Dear Connor Murphy, I'm just glad to be your friend Our friendship goes beyond your average kind of bond but not because we're gay No, not because we're gay We're close, but not that way The only man that I love is my dad Well, anyway You're getting better every day I'm getting better every day Keep getting better every day Hey, 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 hey! Cause all that it takes is a little reinvention it's easy to change if you give it your, your uh, attention All you gotta do is just believe you can be who you wanna be Sincerely Miss you dearly Sincerely me Sincerely me Sincerely me Sincerely me uh, these were just some of the some of the emails I found. Uh, I, I I can print out more. We we have a lot more. Um, Connor and I we would uh, we we would email all the time. So it's difficult to read these. It doesn't sound like Connor. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have just. Maybe no, it's no, just, no. It's just I don't I don't remember the last time I heard him laugh. But you too. You oh, would. No, we we would we would laugh all the time. There are more of these? More emails? A lot more. We would love to see them. We would love to see everything, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Zoe, come here. Where did you see what Evan brought us? Emails from your brother. 
How was your first day back? Fantastic. Everyone wants to be my best friend all of a sudden. I'm the dead kid's sister, didn't you know? I'm sure they mean well. I, I, I should I should probably go. You're not staying for dinner? Uh, well, I, I, I did plan on it. So. Then we'll do another night. I can cook you something. Oh no, you, you don't you don't have to. Oh no, we want to. We would love to have you, wouldn't we? Well, why don't I show you out? Thanks. So how was Ben today? I bet they're glad to have you back, huh? You really don't have to do this, okay? Do what? Look, just because Connor's not here screaming at the top of his lungs saying that he's going to kill me for no reason, that does not mean that all of a sudden we're just this stupid Brady bunch. We are all grieving in our own way. I know how much you miss your brother. We all do. You can read these when you're ready. Why should I play this game of pretend? Remembering through a second-hand sorrow Such a great son and wonderful friend Oh, don't the tears just pour I could curl up and hide in my room There in my bed still sobbing tomorrow I could give in to all of the gloom But tell me, tell me what for Why should I have a heavy heart? Why should I start to break in pieces? Why should I go and fall apart for you? Some rest. Couldn't you just come to Connor's room with me? Cynthia. You can't stand being in that room for five I'm minutes. I am exhausted. You know, Larry, at some point you're gonna have to Not start today. Please. Just read this. I gave you the world, you threw it away. Leaving these broken pieces behind you. Everything wasted, nothing to say. So I can sing no requiem. I hear your voice and feel you near. Within these words, I finally find you. And now that I know that you are still here, I will sing no requiem tonight. Why should I have a heavy heart? Why should I say I'll, I'll keep, keep you, you with, with me? me? Why should I go and fall apart for you? Why should I play the grieving girl and why? Saying that I miss you and that my world has gone dark without your a candle to remember no no one more and it all when they lay them down to sleep so don't
I will sing no requiem. I will sing no requiem. I will sing no requiem tonight. Oh, oh. oh. How are you? How is everything? Um, fine, thanks. Oh my gosh. Jared has been telling everyone about you and Connor, about how close you guys were, how you were like best friends. Oh. Everyone is talking about how brave you've been this week. They are? I mean, anybody in your position would be falling apart. Dana P was crying so hard at lunch, she pulled a muscle in her face. She had to go to the hospital. Isn't Dana P new this year? She didn't even know Connor. That's why she was crying, because now she'll never get the chance. Connor is really bringing the school together. It's pretty incredible. People I've never talked to before, they want to talk to me now because they know how much Connor meant to me. I actually started a blog about him, a sort of memorial page. Uh, were you and Connor friends too? We were acquaintances, but close acquaintances. Oh. Can I tell you something? I think a part of me always knew you guys were friends. You did a good job of hiding it, but I don't know. I could just tell. Hey, who are you talking to? Jared. It was just Jared. Oh, you and Jared seem like you're spending a lot more time together. I always said he'd be a good friend for you. Yeah, really great. Hey, I'm proud of you getting yourself out there. Thanks. Well, I'm leaving. Um, I left some money on the table for you, so order whatever you want. I, okay? I thought we were having tacos and looking at the essays tonight. Oh, it's Tuesday. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Well, it's okay. No, no, no. Oh, hello. We can work this out. Listen, so why don't you go ahead and look at the questions on your own and then you can just email me your thoughts and I'll read them and I'll email you back my ideas. How about that? It'll be better that way anyways, right? Because then you can take your time. No, it's fine, really. Evan, we can have tacos another night. How about tomorrow? I, I can't tomorrow. I have... I'm, I'm, I'm busy. Oh, man, I have to go... Oh, no, you should, you should go then. No, let's figure this out. No, no, it's fine, really. No! No, no I'll, I'll make dinner for myself. <laughs> What are you doing in my brother's room? Oh, no, I, I was just waiting for... Aren't your parents upset that you're here all the time? It's not like I'm here all the time. Just two nights in a row. Well, uh, it's just my mom, she works most nights, or, uh, or she's in class. Class for what? Legal stuff. What about your dad? Uh, my dad, he uh, lives in Colorado. Uh, he left when I was seven, so... I don't think he'll really mind either. Uh, your parents, they're they are great. They fight all the time. Well, everybody's parents fight. My dad, he's in like total denial. He didn't even cry at the funeral. Uh, your mom, she says uh, there's, there's gluten-free lasagna for dinner. That sounds really... Uh, Inedible? <laughs> well, uh, you're lucky your mom cooks. My mom and I just, uh, just order pizza most nights. At least you can have pizza. You're not allowed to order pizza? Well, I guess we can have it now. My mom was Buddhist last year, so we couldn't have animal products. She was Buddhist last year, but not this year. That's what she does. For a while it was Pilates, then The Secret, and then Buddhism, and now it's like free-range omnivores, whatever. It's so cool that your mom's so interested in all these different things. She's not. That's what happens when you're rich and you don't have a job. You get crazy. <sighs> My mom always said it's better to be rich than poor. Well, you've obviously never been rich then. Yeah, well, you've never obviously been poor. Oh, wow! I can't believe I just said <laughs> that. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't, didn't know you were capable of saying something not nice. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't even think things like that. I just... I was impressed. You're ruining it. I'm sorry. You don't have to keep saying that. 
Okay. You want to say it, don't you? Very much so, yes. You're weird. I know. Hey, what did he mean in his note? Because there's Zoe, all my hope is pinned on Zoe, who I don't know and who doesn't know me. What does that even mean? Well, uh, maybe, I'm not sure if this is definitely it, but maybe, uh, he thought if you guys were closer, then... We weren't uh, close at all. Well, no, exactly, which is why uh, he, he wished that you were, he, uh, he wanted to be. So, you and Connor, you talked about me? I mean, sometimes, if Connor brought it up, obviously, why would I ever bring it up? I mean, just, he, he thought you were... Awesome. You thought I was awesome? My brother? Oh, definitely. How? Well, um... Well, okay, um, like when, when you're doing a solo in jazz band, uh, you close your eyes, you probably don't even know you're doing this, but you, you close your eyes and you get like this, uh, this half smile, like, uh, you just heard the funniest thing in the world, but it's a secret you can't tell anyone. Um, but the way that you smile, it's almost like, uh, like, like you're letting us in on the secret, too. He said, there's nothing like your smile, sort of subtle and perfect and real. He said, you never knew how wonderful that smile could make someone feel. And he knew, whenever you get bored, you'd scribble stars on the cuffs of your jeans. And he noticed that you still fill out the quizzes that they put in those teen magazines. But he kept it all inside his head. What he saw, he left unsaid. And though he wanted to, he couldn't talk to you. He couldn't find a way. But he would always say If I could tell her Tell her everything I see If I could tell her That she's everything to me But we're a million worlds apart And I don't know how I would even start If I could tell her Did he say anything else? Uh, about you? Never mind, I don't really no, 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 no. he, he just said so many things, I was just trying to remember the best ones, so... Um... He thought you looked really pretty, or uh, it looked pretty cool when you put indigo streaks in your hair. He did? <laughs> and he wondered how you learned to dance like all the rest of the world isn't there. But he kept it all inside his head. What he saw, he left unsaid. If I could tell her, tell her everything I see If I could tell her how she's everything to me But we're a million worlds apart And I don't know how I would even start If I could tell her If I could tell her what do you do when there's this great divide? You just seem so far away. And what do you do when the distance is too wide? It's like I don't know anything. And how do you say I love you? I love you. And 
I don't know how I would even start If I could tell her If I could What are you doing? Oh my god, no, I, I didn't mean that I just... You what? Well, I, I didn't mean to, it just happened I can't believe you tried to kiss Zoe Murphy on her brother's bed after he died. Oh, no. Hey, aren't you going to say something about the picture I just sent you? Is that a button with Connor's face on it? I'm selling them for a nominal fee at lunch tomorrow. What, you're making money off of this? I'm not the only one. Haven't you seen the wristbands with Connor's initials on them that Sabrina Patel started selling during free period? Or the t-shirts Matt Holzer's mom made? What am I going to do about Zoe? Are you kidding? After last night? You can never walk into that house again. Besides, this whole Connor thing, it'll be played out in a couple days. But, but you said about the t-shirts and the wristbands. Exactly. We are at the peak of the Connor Murphy memorabilia market. I've got to move product before some third world tsunami drags everyone's attention away. Pretty soon, Connor will just be that dead kid's name no one will remember. But that, that, that's, that's terrible. Hey, it, at least it was fun while it lasted. You got to have some fun with your fake family and snuggle with Zoe Murphy. But I, I was trying to help them. I only wanted to help them. Regardless, bro, it's over. A week from now, everybody will forget about Connor, and you'll see. Everybody has forgotten about Connor. Last week, everyone was wearing the wristbands and the buttons with his face on them. People were talking to each other that never talked to each other before, and now it's... it's all gone. You were his best friend. You have to do something. Well, I, I know, but... Maybe you could ask Zoe to do something? Or maybe you could do something together. Zoe? Yeah, she's the perfect person to help people get interested again. Maybe you could co-write something for my blog, or... Well, it's just, um, I don't know if it's that's the best way to get people to remember him. Well, I can guarantee you that if you don't do something, no one will remember him. Is that what you want? Well, it's just that I... I'm... What am I supposed to do? You can talk to Zoe? I can't talk to Zoe. I already ruined everything with Zoe. Says who? Jared? Why are you even talking to Jared about this? Well, who else am I supposed to talk to? You can talk to me? <laughs> do you have better options? I, I, I just don't know what to do. Look, Zoe, my parents, they need you. You're the only person who can make sure that nobody forgets me. Oh, right. They already did. <laughs> After two whole weeks. And what do you think happens to you? Nobody cares about people like us. People like us? Connor Murphy. The kid who threw a printer at Mrs. G in the second grade. And Evan Hansen. The kid who wanted to talk to Zoe Murphy at a jazz band concert, but his hands are too sweaty. You know, people like that. Look. Guys like you and me, we're just the losers who keep waiting to be seen, right? I mean, no one seems to care, stops to notice that we're there, so we get lost in the in-between. But if you can somehow keep out thinking of me, and make me more than abandoned memory, that means we matter too. Someone will see that you are there No one deserves to be forgotten No one deserves to fade away No one should come and go and have no one know He was ever even here No one deserves to disappear to disappear Disappear It's true Even if you've always been that barely in the background kind of guy You still matter Even if you're somebody who can't escape the feeling that the world's passed you by You still matter If you never get around to doing some remarkable that doesn't mean that you're not worth remembering Think of the people who need to know They need to know So you need to I show, need to them. show them. them No one deserves to
to be forgotten. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. To fade away. No one should flicker out or have any doubt that it matters that they are here. No one deserves. No one deserves to disappear. When you're falling of course, then there's nobody around. All you want is for somebody to find you. When you're falling of course, the one you hit the ground. All you need is for somebody to find you. I'm calling it the uh, the Connor Project. The Connor Project. A student group dedicated to keeping Connor's memory alive, to, to showing that that everyone should matter. I'm so honored. I would love to be vice president of the Connor Project. I'm not vice president. No, you're right. We should be co-presidents. No, that, that works for me. <laughs> you could be treasurer or secretary. Unfortunately, the co-president spot has already been filled. Well, darn. I guess I'm gonna have to order a new set of buttons. Unless I can fit the words Connor Project on the old ones, but depending on the font size. Wait, wait, wait. Do, do you think we should actually do this? Are you kidding? We have to do this. Not just for Connor. For everyone. Cause no one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves deserves to fade away. We're calling it the Connor Project. The Connor Project? Uh, imagine a major online presence. With access to educational materials. It's a fundraising event. Uh, for helping people like Connor. And for the kickoff event, an all-school memorial assembly. Students, teachers, anyone who wants to can get up and talk about Connor. Talk about his legacy. I don't know what to say. I didn't realize Connor meant this much to people. Oh my gosh. He was one of my closest acquaintances. He was my lab partner in chemistry, and in 10th grade English we presented on Huck Finn. He was so funny. Instead of Huck Finn, he always called it. No one else in our class thought of that. <laughs> uh, for the assembly, I was thinking maybe the jazz band could do something. Well, I'm sure Zoe and the band would love to help. Great idea, Evan. Thanks, Jared. Don't sweat. Oh, Evan, this is, this is just wonderful. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. No one deserves to disappear. No one deserves to disappear. No one should look around and have any doubt. For tomorrow, for the assembly. Oh. When Connor started the seventh grade, all my girlfriends said, here comes bar mitzvah season. He's going to have a different party every Saturday. I took him to get a suit, some shirts, and a tie. He didn't get invited to a single one. I thought you could wear it for your speech tomorrow. My, my speech? Well, Alana said that anyone who wanted to would have a chance to say something tomorrow. I think we all assumed you'd be the first to sign up. Okay, well that's not, um, I'm, I'm not a public speaker. I'm, I'm not good at that. Just, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want me to do it, please. Of course I want to hear you. I'm sure we're all expecting to hear from you. I know Larry and I would like to. And Zoe. Think about it.
morning, students and faculty. Uh, I, I wanted to say a few words about my best friend, um, Connor Murphy. I, I wanted to tell you about the day we, we went to the uh, the old apple orchard. Um, we, we were standing under the, this oak tree, and Connor wondered what the, the world looked like from all the way up there, so, so we, we decided to... We decided to find out. Uh, we, we were climbing slowly, one branch at a time, and, and we looked back, and we were already 30, 30 feet off the ground. Connor looked at me, and he, he, he smiled that way he always did, and then... And, and then... Th then I fell. Um, good, good morning, students. And, and, no, I'm sorry. It's just um, the... Um, sorry, it's just... I, um, Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one could hear? But you see, the thing is, Connor, Connor was there. That, that, that's the gift he gave me to show me that that I wasn't alone, showing that I that I mattered, that that everybody does. That, that's the gift he, he he gave all of us. I just I, I just wish we could have given that 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 gift to him. Let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand And oh, someone will come running And I know crashing through when you need a friend to carry you and when you're broken on the ground you will be found so let the sun come streaming in cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again lift your head and look around you will be speech online. My speech? People started cheering it, I guess, and now... I mean, Connor's everywhere. Just look. This morning, the Connor Project page had only 56 people following it. Well, well how many does it have now? 4,539. Well, I, I don't understand what happened. You did.
crashing through when you need someone to carry you when you're broken on the Hey everybody, it's me, Alana, Connor Project Co-President, Associate Treasurer, Media Consultant, Chief Technology Officer, and Assistant Creative Director slash Public Policy Director for Creative Public Policy Initiatives for the Connor Project. Hi, I'm Evan, Co-President of the Connor Project. Wish I could see all your amazing faces out there. Yeah, I hope you're having an amazing day. Now, I know a lot of you guys have seen the inspirational videos on our website. Uh, thank you for checking out the awesome new videos we put out this week with Mr. and Mrs. Murphy, Connor's sister Zoe. Connor's best friend, my co-president, Evan Hansen. Well, as you know, Connor's favorite place in the entire world was the incredible Autumn Smile Apple Orchard. The stunning Autumn Smile Apple Orchard, which tragically shut down seven years ago. Connor loved trees. Connor was obsessed with trees. He and Evan used to spend hours together sitting at the orchard, looking at the trees, being with the trees, sharing fun facts they knew about the trees. But the one thing that Connor wanted more than anything was the orchard back up and running. Which is where you come in. Because today we are starting a major Kickstarter campaign. One of the most ambitious Kickstarter initiatives since the internet was first created to raise gulp Fifty thousand uh, dollars. Fifty thousand dollars in three it's weeks. It's a lot of money, I know, but it's also a lot of amazing. So let's do it, guys, and make the make Connor the Murphy Memorial, Memorial Orchard, Orchard not, not just, just a, a dream, dream, but a reality. <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen, my fat rehab's been alright. I like the yoga and the sharing circles every night. But dude, these stories sometimes scare you half to death. So many people do some weird stuff just for meth. <laughs> oh, and one more thing that's worth mentioning. The guy from school, Jared, Jared Kleinman. Kleinman. Yes, the insanely cool Jared Kleinman! I think we should start to make him a part of the awesome friendship we have. A part of the awesome friendship we have. This adorably heartwarming friendship we have. Hey! 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 Cause all that it takes is a little... Okay, no, Jared. Obviously not. What? What's wrong? You weren't friends with him. That was not part of the story. I was his only friend. You know that. You need to redo it. Oh, you're totally right. I mean, what was I thinking? Making things up in a completely fabricated email exchange that never happened? Just don't change the story, okay? Well, if you want me to redo it, you'll have to wait until Monday, because I have plans all weekend with my camp friends, or as I like to call them, my real friends. Yeah, actually, I think we're good on emails for now. We're kind of focusing on bigger stuff, the, the orchard, stuff like that. Oh, well, I can definitely do more with the Kickstarter. I mean, I am the treasurer, you know? Yeah, I think Alana and I are pretty much set on that. I'll let you know if I think of anything, though. Yep, got it. Hey, I bet Zoe's happy that your cast is gone. I, I guess. I mean, talk about killing the mood, right? Having to see your dead brother's name written on your boyfriend's arm every time you're in the middle of- Okay, can you just not, please? Zoe and I are not- we're not telling people about, um, you know, us. Don't even worry about it, bro. The only thing on your mind should be building that orchard for Connor. Because if there was one thing about Connor, the guy loved trees. Oh, wait. You love trees. That's weird, isn't it? Guess I shouldn't tell anyone about that either. Hey, what are you up to? Uh, just nothing. I always feel like I uh, catch you putting your phone away. N not really. I don't know what you're doing on there you don't want me to see. It, it's but... just Jared, Mom. Okay. Um... 
Do you have a minute um, before you go? Well, actually, I, I was just I was about to go to Jared's, so... Uh, I thought you went to Jared's last night. Well, yeah, I, I did, but uh, we're working on the Spanish project. Um, we're, we're probably going to be working late again, so I'll, I'll probably just, just sleep over, so... You know, I saw the strangest thing on Facebook today. Oh, really? Yeah, it was this video of um, something called the Cotter Project. Have you heard of this? Yeah, because the website says you're their president. Uh, co co president. Mm hmm. Yeah, so the video was actually you giving a speech about that boy, Connor Murphy. I, I, you told I just, me you didn't know him. Well, I know, but I just... And um, then in the speech, you said he was your best friend. Well, because I lied when... When I said I didn't know him. So you broke your arm with him at, at an orchard? You told me you broke it at work, at, at the park. Okay, well, who do you think drove me to the hospital? Who do you think waited in the emergency room for, for three hours? Uh, you, you were at work, remember? You, you didn't pick up your phone. You told me your boss you took you well, to the well, hospital. So I lied, obviously. What, when were you going to tell me any of this? Were you ever going to tell me? When, when, when am I supposed to tell you? When are you even here? <laughs> I'm here right now. Okay, one night a week. Well, well most people, their parents, they, they try to do a bit better than that, just so you know. Oh, well, lucky for them. I have them. to go to Jared's. I, I don't think I want you going anywhere right well, now, Well, I told Jared actually. I'd be there like ten minutes ago. All right, listen. I am missing class tonight, so I can be here with you, Evan, to talk to you. So talk to me. Well, I can't just not do schoolwork because you 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 you, need, you you want to spend time with me. I can't just drop everything, whatever's most convenient for you. I don't understand what's going on with but you. But nothing's going on with me. You're standing up in front of school giving speeches. You're president of a group. You're you're making a big deal out of something that that isn't a big deal. You need to talk to me. I I, I already told you me. everything. You are, I am your mother. I'm sorry, I, I just, I don't know. I'm happy you had a friend, sweetheart. It's just, I'm, I'm so sorry that he's gone. I, I wish I would have known. Right. If you ever need to talk about I, it. I, I should go. Okay. Um, are you, are you okay on refills? Uh, well, um, I, I haven't been taking them. Oh. I haven't really needed them. Really? So, no anxiety? Or... I've been fine. Great. That, that's great. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm proud of you. I guess those... Letters to yourself really did the trick, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, um, don't stay up too late. It's a, it's a school night. I will. So when does your mom get home from work? Oh, well, she has uh, classes Sunday night, so she, she won't be home for, like, another three hours at least. So. so we have the whole house to ourselves? You know it. We should throw a kegger. We should definitely throw a kegger for sure. <laughs> Until your mom gets home. In three hours. <laughs> Thank you for, um, for, for coming. You do realize that I've been asking to come to your house for, like, weeks, and every time you've immediately said no? Well, no, I know, which is why I'm glad you're here now. What are these? Oh, no, 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 those are just a college scholarship contest. That, um, my mom keeps putting out more of them. There are so many. Yeah, no, I'd have to win at least a couple hundred to actually pay for college, you know, with uh, housing, tuition, books. Your parents, they can't? No, not really. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, uh, I meant to tell you earlier. Um, so we had a meeting for the Connor Project. I think we found a way that we can uh, we can raise more money for the orchard. Um, so hey, please. can we can we talk? Crap. What? No, it's just uh, you're breaking up with me, right? That that that's why that's why you came. 
breaking up with you. No, I mean, how presumptuous is gonna get? I don't even know if we're like dating officially or whatever. I mean, I'll, 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 you, you can, you can, you can tell me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start crying or just break things. I'm not breaking up with you. Oh. Well. Um, thank you. Don't mention it. That, that, that's really good. Sorry. I don't want to keep this a secret anymore. Oh. I mean, what are we really hiding? Well, I mean, people might think that, uh, that it could be, uh, ruining Connor's memory for us to be, um, you know. Happy? But, no, no, I know, but, um, th th think about it from, from their perspective. I was... I was his best friend. You, you were his, his sister. And when do we get to become more than that? It's just my entire life. Everything has always been about Connor. And right now, I just want... I need something that's just for me. If we're going to make this into a relationship, I don't want it to be about my brother, or the orchard, or the emails. I just want... I don't need you to sell me on reasons to want you. I don't need you to search for the proof that I should. You don't have to convince me. You don't have to be scared you're not enough. Cause what we've got going is good. I don't need more reminders of all that's been broken I don't need you to fix what I'd rather forget Clear the slate and start over Try to quiet the noises in your head We can't compete with all that So what if it's us? What if it's us? I never thought there'd be someone like you who would want me. Well? So I give you 10,000 reasons to not let me go. But if you really see me, if you like me for me and nothing else, well, that's all that I've wanted for longer than you could possibly know. So it can be us. It can be us, and only us And what came before won't count anymore or matter We can try that It's not so impossible Nobody else but the two of us here Cause you're saying it's possible We can just watch the whole world disappear Till you're Just you and me. It'll be us, it'll be us, and only us. And what came before won't count anymore. We can try that. You and me, that's all that we needed to be. And the rest of the world falls away. And the rest of the world falls away. Where were you last night? 
You know, the postcards for that orchard we're fundraising? Oh, crap, no, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. No, it's okay, I did everything without you. Look, I'm sorry, I really am. I must have just put the wrong date in my phone or something. What's your deal, Evan? The Kickstarter deadline is a week from today, and it feels like you're a thousand miles away. You haven't made a new video, and you haven't posted on the blog in, like, forever. Well, it's just, I, I've been busy. Busy with what? Other stuff. Look, how much money do we have left to raise? Oh, not too much. Just 17,000 more dollars. Look, I, I, it will, we'll be fine. Just uh, we need to keep the people engaged, right? Exactly. That's why I'm posting the emails between you and Connor. What do you mean? Mrs. Murphy sent them to me. Apparently there's like a ton more too, and you show her one like every day. Well, those are private conversations. <laughs> not anymore. They belong to everyone now. That's like the whole point. The more private they are, the better. It's what people want to see. It's a responsibility of ours to show the community everything and tell them the truth. Oh, and I'm sending you a list of questions. Some of the emails didn't really make sense. Uh, what? Well, you tell everyone that the first time you went to the orchard was that day you broke your arm, but then in some of the emails you said you've been going there since like last November. Well, th those are probably just typos and I think you're reading into it like way too much. You can explain everything once I send you the questions. You know how much the community loves to hear from you. Hey, so my parents are out of town this weekend and the last time they touched the liquor cabinet was like Rosh Hashanah 1997, so... Yeah, no, I can't this weekend. I have $17,000 to raise. You remember the Connor Project? You're supposed to be working on this. <laughs> remember, you told me you didn't need my help. Yeah, well, I didn't tell you to do nothing. Listen, I know you think this is all one big joke, but this is important. For Connor. Yeah. You know, Connor being dead's probably the best thing that's ever happened to you, that's, isn't it? That's a horrible thing for you to say. No, seriously. No one even talked to you, and now you're sort of popular. Which is just a wonder of wonder and miracle of miracles. No, I, I don't care about any of that. I don't care if people even know who I am. All I wanted to do was help, help the Murphys. <laughs> I know. You keep telling me that. Hey, Jared. Hey. Look at you. Helping the Murphys. What was that? It's nothing. So Evan tells us you're studying to be a lawyer. Oh, paralegal. You're kidding. Oh. They're always... They're we always are looking for new We're literally always looking for paralegals. Well, it's going to be another year before I... Oh, well, here, let me give you my card. That way, when you graduate... That is a great up. idea. Kismet! I... No, really, you don't it's have to. It's Kismet! Thank you. You know, I'm so glad you called this morning. I've been agonizing over whether or not... Whether it was inappropriate for me to reach out to you at all. Oh, Heidi, we have two. Evan said you were so busy, I didn't want to bother you. Well, I'm not that busy. When I asked Evan how you felt about him spending so much time here, he said it was really no trouble because of your job and okay. classes. Spends time here? Uh, Evan, he's been a tremendous comfort to us over these last few months. He and Connor were, they were, they were very close. You know, I, I have to admit, I had no idea he and Connor were... We were the same. <laughs> Boys and their secrets. You, you know, we didn't even know Evan. We we hadn't met him. Evan didn't tell me anything. Secret handshakes, secret tree houses. Sorry for late fans ran long again. Oh, we're just getting to know each other. We invited your mother over for dinner. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know Evan would be joining us tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think to tell you. Hi, I'm Zoe. It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh. Good. Did you know about this? Yeah, it was my idea. <laughs> why, don't, why don't we sit down? I thought you had work tonight. Well, um, I decided this would be more important, so I'm playing hooky. We were just talking about how you and Connor were so sneaky. Uh, something smells good. Chicken Melanese. I didn't realize you were spending so much time here. Well, you've been working a lot. Why did I always think you were at Jared's? I don't know. Evan, you called and told your mother when you were staying the night, right? Of course, of course. We've been taking really good care of Evan. He even has his own toothbrush so he doesn't go to bed with cavities. Oh, how <laughs> nice. Uh, Evan was telling me about the scholarship contests. There's like a million of them. That's really impressive. Well, Evan is a great writer. Huh, somehow, I'm not surprised. Yeah, his teacher said that his paper on Sulu was the best she had ever read. How about that? It's, um, it's Sula. 
What did I say? Sulu. <laughs> Um, Sulu's a character in Star Trek, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. Speaking of scholarships... Oh, yeah, well, now's as good a time as any. Cynthia, do you want to tell her? Well, Zoe happened to mention to us the other day about Evan and his um, struggles with the financial burden of college. So Larry and I were talking about it, and, well, we were very fortunate to set aside money for our son. I'm okay. I'm okay. So I called you to invite you to dinner, Heidi. First of all, to thank you for allowing your son to be become a part of our lives. He was such a dear, dear friend to Connor, and we have come to love him to pieces. And with your blessing, we'd like to give Evan the money we've set aside for our son so that, so that he can fulfill his dreams, just like he helped Connor to fulfill his. What do you think? I'm d I don't know what to say. It would be such a gift if you would allow us to do this for Evan. It would be a tremendous gift. Well, thank you very much. But we will be just fine. I don't have a lot of money, but I do have some. Oh, we didn't mean... Oh, uh, I understand. Um, it's just that... I, I do have money. I'm sorry you were under the impression that I didn't. And whatever money I don't have, um, Evan will just get a scholarship or he'll go to community college and I think that's, that would be the best thing for us. I don't want Evan to think that he can rely on other people for favors. Oh, this wouldn't be a favor. Well, as my, his mother, I need to be an example for him and show him that you can't expect things from strangers. We are not strangers. No, uh, of course not. Thank you for the invitation. You're not staying for dinner? No, um, actually I think I'm going to go to work after all. If I had known that Evan was so concerned about our finances, I wouldn't have taken the night off in the first place. Any idea how mortifying it is to find out your son is spending every night at someone else's home and you didn't even know it? I mean, you told me you were at Jared's. Okay, well, if you're not here, why does it matter where I am then? Uh, they think you're their son, Evan. These people... Okay, they're not these people. They're my... What? What are they? I don't know. Because they act like they're your... Like they've adopted you. That I'm just... That I don't even exist. They take care of me. They're not your parents. That's not your family, Evan! Okay, well, they're nice to me. Oh, they're lovely, lovely people. Yeah, they are. They don't even know you! Oh, well, and you do? I thought I did. What do you know about me? You never even seen me. <laughs> hey, I am doing my best. They like me. I know how hard that is for you to believe. They think that there's something wrong with me, like you do, Why and I need to be fixed. I ever said I there's to something therapy. wrong with I have to, you. I have to take drugs? I'm your mother! It's my job to take yeah, care yeah, of I'm you! I'm such a burden. I'm the worst thing that's ever happened. I ruined your life! You are the... The only, the one good thing that has ever happened to me, Evan. I'm sorry, I, I can't give you anything more than that. Well, it's not my fault other people can. So you find a place where the grass is greener And you jump the fence to the other side Is it good? Are they giving you a world I can never provide? Well, I hope you're proud of your big decision Yeah, I hope it's all that you want and more Now you're free from the agonizing life before. And you say what you need to say So that you get to walk away It will kill you to have to stay trapped When you've got something new Well, I'm sorry you had it rough And I'm sorry I'm not enough Thank God they rescued you So you got what you always wanted So you got children come true Good for you Good for you You, you Got a day for the life He said that he was
was getting better. He said that in every letter he wrote to you. Why do so many things in these emails not make sense? Well, just because sometimes life doesn't make sense. Sometimes things are, are, are messy and complicated. Like you and Zoe? Do you know what people are saying about you? Well, why are you so obsessed with this, anyways? Well, is it because you and Connor were lab partners? Or because you want another uh, extracurricular on your college application? Because I know what it feels like to be invisible! What it feels like if you could just vanish and no one would care, just like Connor did! I bet you used to feel that way, too. Hey, if we need more emails, emails showing that the Connor was getting worse. <laughs> This isn't funny. It's hilarious. I think everyone would think it's hilarious. What's that supposed to mean? It means you need to remember who your friends are. Well, I, I thought the only reason you talked to me is because of your, your car insurance. So? So? Maybe the only reason you talked to me is because the, you have no other friends. I could tell everyone everything. Yeah, go ahead, do that. Tell everyone how you, how you pretend to be a kid who killed himself. Screw you, Evan. Does it cross your mind to be slightly sorry? Do you even care that you might be wrong? And was it fun? Well, I hope you had a blast while you dragged me along. And you say what you need to say, and you play who you need to play. And if somebody's in your way, crush them and leave them behind. Well, I guess if I'm not of you, go ahead and cut me loose. Go ahead now, I won't mind I'll shut my mouth and i let you go Is that good for you? Will that be good for you? You, you, I'll just sit back while you run the show Is that good for you? Will that be good for you? You, you, I'll oh, shut my mouth and i let you go But the boat is about to sink Is that good for you? Will that be good for you? Good for Tell me how you, can I change this story? Of the words that I can't tell you Like a train show. coming off the track As the rails and the bolts all crack Then I gotta find a way to stop it, stop it, just let me out Say that what you always wanted Say that your dream come true Good for you, good for you You, you got a taste of a life so perfect Now you say that you're someone new Good for you I can't do this anymore. I'm done. You can't just quit now. No, I can't live with this anymore. What about my parents? No, no more emails. After everything no we've done for you. Project, no more they orchard. need you. Need me to what? Keep lying to them? That lie is the only thing that's keeping them together. That is not true. Oh, really? So they seem like a pretty happy family when you met them? I can't lie anymore. What about Zoe? <laughs> Zoe said... She just... She wants me. Right. Yeah, she said that, that she she likes me for, for who I am. Except you didn't happen to mention that everything you've ever told her has been one big lie, did you? Oh, you left that part out. So... So what if I, um... What if I did tell her the... The, the, the truth? She would hate you. No, no, no. Maybe maybe she would understand. Maybe everybody would, would understand. Everyone would hate you. No, if You'd I could be just, right back where you started. Them, no I, friends. I with nobody. This, nothing, I'm ready to be done with this. If you really think that, then why are you standing here talking to yourself again? You think you can just turn around and start telling everybody the truth? You can't even tell yourself the truth. What do you mean? How'd you break your arm? How'd you break your arm, Evan? I fell. Really? Is that what happened? Yes, that's what happened. I. I... I lost my grip, and, and I fell. Did you fall? Or did you let go? You can get rid of me whenever you want. You can get rid of all of this. The Connor Project, the Orchard. But then all you'd be left with... is you. Think about it. I, I've been a bad co-president. I know that, and I'm sorry, but you, you're you're absolutely right. And I'm back. I'm rededicating myself to the Connor Project. Too late. You've made it abundantly clear that you're not very interested in being a part of the Connor Project. I, I can make more videos. I can write more stuff on the blog. I can do that myself. 
It's not the same. You know that it's not the same. People want to hear what I have to say. I was his best friend. You know, frankly, Evan, I'm starting to even wonder if that's even true. What do you mean? You keep saying you were best friends. You're like a broken freaking record about it. But nobody ever saw you together. No one even knew you were friends. Well, it, it was a secret. secret. I know. I've heard the story a gazillion times, Evan. We all have. You've seen the emails. Do you know how easy it is to create a fake email account to backdate emails? Because I do. I don't have time for this. I have $17,000 to raise. I, I can prove it. How? What is this? If we were friends, then... Then why did Connor send his suicide note to me? Oh my gosh. Do you believe me now? Uh, I... You can't show this to anyone, okay? No one else needs to see this. Are you kidding? This is, ex this is exactly what people need to see. What? No, 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 no. J just delete it, please. Don't you even care about building the orchard? This is how we're going to make Connor's dream come true. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> Dear Connor Project community. What, you put it online? Connor's note is a message to all of us. Share it with as many people as you can. Post it everywhere. But you need to take it down. Please. If you ever felt alone like Connor, please consider making a donation to the Connor Murphy Memorial Orchard. No amount is too small. Where did they get Connor's note? I don't know. I tried calling Alana, but she's not answering. Some of these are adults. Did you see these pictures? These are adults. Zoe, maybe you shouldn't answer. Hello. Who is it? Zoe, who is it? Have fun with the rest of your miserable life. Bye. What's that number? It's blocked. Who cares? What did they say to you? It doesn't matter. Did they threaten it you? It doesn't matter. That's yeah. it. I'm calling the police. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, maybe the best thing we can do right now is just to wait and see if this whole thing blows over. That's your solution for everything, isn't it? Do nothing. Is that what I said? Wait and see. Let's I just wait and see. Stop. Right, Larry? What are the police going to do? I had to it's beg you every internet. step of the are way. Are they going to arrest the I internet? I had to plead with you for therapy, rehab. Oh, well, maybe you're going to You lurched from one miracle cure miracle to Miracle cure? Is that As what you though call? he needed another $20,000 $20, $20, to go to the Put him in a program and have him stick to it. No, you wanted to punish him. Listen to your daughter, Larry. You treated him like a criminal. Are you listening? You think you were any better? You let him get away with anything he wanted. Thank you. When he threatened to kill himself the first time, do you remember what you said? Oh, he Lord just wants sake. attention. I'm not going to stand here and defend him. He wanted himself. to be better. Evan, tell him. Evan, Evan did everything was he in could. denial of everything Don't that was right in front of him. Please, you know it, Larry. He wanted to be different. He I wished did the best be that I could. I tried to, to help him in any way that I knew how, and that was not good enough. He was trying. He was failing. We failed him. You didn't fail him. Look at what he wrote. He didn't write it. I wrote it. You didn't write Connor's suicide note, Evan. It's, it's... It's not... It was an assignment from my therapist. Write a letter to yourself, dear Evan Hansen. Today's going to be a good day, and here's why. I don't... I was supposed to take it to my appointment later that day. I guess Connor took it from me, and he, he must have had it on him when he... When you found him. What are you talking about? We weren't friends? No. 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 I never meant to make it such a mess. I never thought that it would go this far. But there were emails. You showed us emails. So I just stand here, sorry. Searching for something to say. Something to say. But he took you to the orchard. You knew about the orchard. That's where you broke your arm. No, no, no. I, st I broke my arm at Allison's take part no, by myself. at the orchard. You and Connor at the orchard. Words fail. Words fail. There's nothing I can say. But you told me, you told me that you and Connor would, you would talk about me and... How could she do this? I guess I thought I could be part of this. I never had this kind of thing before. I never had that perfect girl who somehow could see the good part of me. I never had the dad who stuck it out. 
No corny jokes or baseball gloves. No mom who just was there, cause mom was all that she had to be. That's not a worthy explanation, I know there is none. Nothing can make sense of all these things I've done. Words fail, words fail There's nothing I can say Except sometimes you see everything you wanted And sometimes you see everything you wish you had And it's right there, right there, right there In front of you And you want to believe it's true so you make it true And you think maybe everybody wants it And needs it a little bit too This was just a sad invention. It wasn't real, I know. But we were happy. I guess I couldn't let that go. I guess I couldn't give that up. I guess I wanted to believe. Cause if I just believed, I don't have to see what's really there. No, I'd rather pretend I'm something other than these broken parts. Pretend I'm something other than this mess that I am. Cause if I don't have to look at it, then no one gets to look at it. No, no one can really see. Cause I've learned to slam on the bridge. Turn the key before I make the mistake. Before I leave with the worst of me, I never let them see the worst of me. Because what if everyone saw? What if everyone knew? Would they like what they saw? Or would they hate it too? Will I just keep on running away from what's true? All I ever do So how do I step in, step into the sun, step into the sun, Have you seen this? I must note that Connor Murphy. It's all over everyone's Facebook. Dear Evan Hansen, you you wrote this, didn't you? I didn't know. No one did. No, that's not what I. I didn't know that, that you were.
hurting so much that, that you were felt so I didn't know how could I not know because I, I never told you <laughs> you shouldn't have to I lied about so many things not just Connor I saw her I just, I, I felt so alone. You can tell me. You'll hate me. Evan, I... <laughs> no, you should. If you knew what I, what I tried to do, if you knew, if you knew how broken I am. I already know you, and I love you. I'm so sorry. I can promise you, someday, this is all going to seem very, very far away. I don't know. Your dad? Do you remember the day he drove by to get his things? Yeah, it was a few weeks after we moved down. Temporarily, we said. It was a February day. When your dad came by before going away, a U-Haul truck in the driveway. The day was suddenly real. I told you not to come outside, but you saw that truck and you smiled so wide. A real white truck in your driveway we let you sit behind the wheel goodbye goodbye now it's just me and my little guy and the house felt so big and I felt so small The house felt so big And I felt so small That night I tucked you into bed I will never forget How you sat up and said Is there another truck coming? to our driveway the truck that will send mommy away and the house felt so big and I felt so small the house felt so big and I Oh. 
be till it all feels so small till it all feels so small I promise you'll see How are you? Good. Pretty good. You graduate soon, right? Two weeks. How's being a senior? Busy. I remember that. <laughs> How's being a freshman? Oh, um, I actually decided to take a year off, actually, so... Oh. Yeah, I decided to save some money, get a job. I'm taking some classes at the community college, so I'll have some credits to transfer in the fall. That's smart. Yeah, we'll see. In the meantime, though, I can get you a friends and family discount at Pottery Barn if you're looking for overpriced home decor. You know, not at the moment. Well, if you change your mind, uh, I'm only working there for a few more months, so the window of opportunity is closing fast. <laughs> I always imagined you and Connor here, even though, obviously. This is my first time. I've probably driven past it like a thousand times, but Every time I get out of the car, I feel like, I don't know, like I don't deserve to. It's nice. Peaceful. My parents, we're here all the time. We have picnics like every weekend. It's helped a lot actually, you know, having this. Your parents, they, they didn't tell anyone about Connor's about the note. They didn't have to do that. They could have told everyone what I did. Everyone needed it for something. That doesn't mean that it was okay. It saved my parents. It's weird. Um, over the fall, I found this yearbook from eighth grade. Most people did uh, collages of their friends. Connor, he wrote a list of his 10 favorite books. I've been trying to read all of them. I know it's not the same as knowing Connor, it's not at all, but I don't know, it's... Something? It's been hard. It's been a hard year. I know. I've been wanting to call you for a while, I just, I didn't know what I would say. But then I, I decided to call you anyways. I'm glad you did. I wish we could have met here, today, for the first time. Me too. I should, I should probably. Oh, yeah, It's yeah. just exams are this week, No, so. yeah, totally. Uh, can I ask you though? Why did you want to meet here? I wanted to make sure you saw this. Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a good day, and here's why, because uh, today, at least you're you, so no hiding, no lying, just you, and, and that's enough. Maybe someday everything that's happened, it'll all feel like a distant memory. Maybe someday uh, no one will even remember about the Connor Project or, or me, but maybe someday 
some other kid will be standing here, staring up at the trees, feeling just, just so alone. Wondering if maybe the world would look better from all the way up there. Maybe he'll keep going one branch at a time and, and he'll, he'll keep going. Even when it seems like there's not another foothold, even when everything is telling him to, to let go. Maybe this time he won't let go. Maybe he'll, he'll just hold on. He'll hold on and, and he'll keep going. Keep going till he sees the sun.